Hi there, my name is Giulio and I'm from the Bitspot team and today we're going to learn about sample rate reduction which is a technique very common these days, especially in uh, hip-hop. This tutorial is not only for hip-hop or trap uh, producers. Uh, I'm going to show you how can, you can apply sample rate reduction to anything. Okay, so let's dive in. First thing first, we have to do some basic theory of uh, sample rate in general. So what is uh, sample rate? Sampling rate uh, defines how many times per second a sound is sampled. So it's the frequency of sample used in digital recording. For CDs is 44.1. Uh, for audio, for video is 48. And then uh, you have also higher and lower sample rate. Uh, in general, uh, if you produce music, unless uh, that you have uh, a lot of free space, uh, it's mostly common to use uh, the 44.1. So this is a sine wave. On the left, we can see how it's being sampled in digital with a low sample rate. Low sample rate, less sampling points for the same time. Same time, higher sample rate, more sampling points, and so more frequencies. So this is a simple sound. We have lots of high frequencies. There are two main ways to lower the sample rate, or with plugins, or with a, a, an audio editor, or the third way with just a, a free trick. Let's see first the, the free trick. So we're going to make this from MIDI to audio. Now, we want to remove the time stretching. Let's pitch the sound, but before I'm going to show you what happens when you pitch a sound. When you pitch a sound, you also move the frequencies. This is the most uh, dramatic setting. Most of the sound has gone out of our frequency range because our sample rate is 44.1. We're going to be able to store 22.05 kilohertz. What happens if we move things out? Let's transpose it by three octaves. I'm going to print this decision into audio. What happens uh, if uh, I change my mind and go back? Everything here has been uh, filtered out by the anti-aliasing uh, filter. We basically created an anti-aliasing filter. Of course, then uh, you have to uh, process it uh, and uh, EQ it. If you ask me, it's way more easier to sing uh, on this. Uh, Than this. The question is why you don't do it uh, with a low pass filter because it is not the same thing. The other way to do this in a faster manner it's with a simple plugin called Decimort, which is made by D16 Audio. It's a bit crusher. By default, uh, it does the simple bit crusher job but if you turn on the approximation filter and the image filter it will just uh, act uh, as a resampling module
You can uh, even uh, automate the resampler. And then here you have uh, settings uh, for the offline quality when uh, you export the track or real-time quality if you want to save uh, CPU or not. Um, next thing is application on drums. Here we have a simple uh, drum loop made by a Nano 9. Boring. That's boring. Same thing on the pad. You can decide. You can use it actually as a mixing tool. This is it. I hope that you liked the tutorial. Uh, feel free to try this technique also on breaks or on other stuff and uh, cheers.